Hi again everybody, Brett back, How to Do Scale Modeling with another Spur Review. We're going to look at these, one of these fabulous mini art kits we talked about recently. The Workstat Craft Wagon. Yeah, I'm sure that's not the right way to say it in German, but I am not in German. Type 0330, Mini Art 135th Scale, kit number 35359. Doesn't that look good? I think it looks good. There's, ooh, there's some glare. Side view of it all built up. And that's about it. So let's get this plastic off of here. Take us a look at some styrene. Great box art. So that is a print, and I would put it on my wall. Apparently, it comes with a figure. So let's pop this over here. And we've got one bag full of all the sprues, one set of instructions. Okay. self-sealing bag. It does not appear to be. So, where did I put that knife? Well, it's big in the box, but there it is, with my last review. I don't think I'll be able to get this back in the bag anyway, so. Let's just take it all out of the bag. Oh, look at all those sprues. Look at all that plastic. Are we in love or what? I guess we'll just start at the top. With the top and the doors. Which look very nice in the window frame. Let's get some zoom action going on. Window frame. Oh, like a little mold release on there. Detail. Inside of the doors, no ejector pins. Alright, so there's the roof. I'm assuming they did that so you could leave it off to show it. There are ejector pin marks, and it looks like a couple of hatches that you can cut out. This part, there are no ejector pins on it. Same with the insides of the doors. There's just some really nice rivet detail all around the inside of these doors. You can see they're like armor thick, too. Outside of the doors. This part here. I don't know what part it is. I'd say it's an engine area, but I do not know. Alright. And well, let's just stay at the top. You've got four sprues of wheels, and these are mini arts wheels where you assemble them in layers. So you just stack them up, and then they look, there's no seam line, and the tread looks really authentic and tasty. Yes, I used the word tasty. There's the outsides of your wheels. Then all the layers to build them up. The other side of your wheel. And there is no writing as far as I can tell, but there is. Yeah, there is. There's writing right there. I don't know how well you can see it. But it is there. And then the hubs. So like I said, there are four of those sprues and we have here bags of could be anything could be potatoes apples hand grenades but you got some bags and you got some 
Big side panels for the truck. <clears throat> Storage compartments, maybe. Because they look like they have handles on them. So, boxes of some sort. And, you know, there are no ejector pins on these flat sides, either. That's impressive. Side panels for the truck and the floor of the truck, which looks really nice. It's more like release agent. So, floor panel looks very nicely detailed. These are all raised. And then the side panels, again, no flash, no burring. The detail goes all the way around, like you'd expect. Inside, no ejector pin marks. Because you could see the inside, and then there's a couple little parts on there. So, I'm guessing these are all mounting points for the suspension parts. And, we have two of these, which are fenders. Slide molded. There is an e one ejector pin right there in the center. Shouldn't take much to clean up. A nice slide molded. Like I said, two of these. As far as I can see, only two. And here we have engine detail. It's got a full engine. It's like the top for the cab. Some very small control parts. Leaf springs. The engine covers, which can be post opened or closed. The radiator, the window frame. Fan, fan belt. All the engine parts you would expect. Gear shift. Steering wheel. I see the steering wheel, or did I just see the... Because there's the steering column. But again, firewall. The detail, and the tiny, tiny, tiny parts. Leaf springs, your transmission, your engine covers, with good hinge detail, and no ejector pin marks on any of those. Get to here, you got your engine block, valve covers, fan belt, fan, window frame, texture on the can, that might be the seat, not the top. And there's the part your window frame goes in. There's your steering wheel. Again, you got these very thin, delicate, you're going to want to use your good Dispay or Mang or whatever single side cutter you have to get those off. Some more of that detail. The other side, let's see, I don't see any burring on the fan belt. It'll show it very well, but there's no burring on the fan belt. Very good, very nice. Seems I've been doing a lot of kits with a lot of detail. There's your frame, suspension parts, your rear end housing. Now, it's important that a frame be straight. Oh, kind of straight, kind of a little curved, but. Then the little cement won't help. There's some of your side rails, you can tell because they got wood texture on them. Both sides, no ejector pin marks. And your frame rails, ejector pin marks on the inside, but not on the outside. Detail all around. These parts are one piece molded with, there's a burr line in there that will need to be taken care of. 
these nicely slide molded at an angle. Eh, not slide molded, they're just molded. So, we got that. And then we've got some more boxes. Workbench. Looks like a radio. Work light. That's really cool. Check out that work light. Right here, and then, oop, there's your light bulb. And it's all hollowed down into there. Almost looks like you could reach in and change the light bulb. Detail on both sides. I do love that shop lamp. And there's your radio setup. And this one. So, I'm going to figure out what's matching and what's not. So, one of these that is a ladder. So, you can see there's a work ladder. This one there's two of matching. Not sure what it is. Work stool maybe, work bench. Because the uh, texture on those legs would indicate that they are wooden. Two of those. Two of these, which looks like the seats for the cab or the workbench area. So, two of those. I'm surprised they put all this in one bag with how delicate some of these parts are. Air compressor. Really detailed air compressor. Like, it's a spray gun there. Just detail engine. Tank. The pulley to drive it. There's your spray gun. Only thing I don't see is a hose. And maybe it's in here in that envelope with the um, PE parts. And some more work things. Another spray gun, an anvil, vice, hammers, wrenches, axe, sledgehammers, pliers, oil can, big wrench, two big wrenches, desktop vice or worktop vice, clamp everything you'd need to do on the road working all the tools you would need They do know how to detail, I mean, detail on that clamp, it's like threaded. And here, I'm, a sudden, I'm assuming this is the cart for the welding equipment. Be careful taking those parts off of the sprue. And this one jerry can and another jerry can and another jerry so two four of those sprues this some more work stuff workbench stuff not sure what it is but again the threading on this outstanding Just putting the tools together is going to take some time. Here are your front fenders. Good detail again. And a couple of ejector pin marks here, 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 here. So if you think you're going to see them, clean them up. If you don't think you're going to see them, or you throw some mud on them, I like the... Um, like diamond pattern right there, like steel diamond plate and non-skid area, both of them, very well done. Okay, here are your welding tanks and the 
heads for your welding tanks. Again, I don't see any hoses. There's your actual torch head. Welder's mask. Nice touch. We can go into a little welding. These are more boxes, as you can tell. Wooden. Storage boxes. Again, no ejector pin marks on either side of any of this. So you could pose them open, closed, smashed, whatever you wanted to do. Uh, another jerry can or water can set. Just one of those. Looks like that's just one of those. Here you have a bucket, two buckets, slide molded. Very nice touch. They just keep having all these nice touches. Here are some more boxes. These ones look to be metal, not wood. But again, the detail. Just as nice. Yep, we just keep going. Here's the leaf spring and some very, very fine parts. You can tell by it's my finger how fine those parts are. And good detail in the leaf spring. But yeah, very. Like I said, I'm surprised they don't individually bag this stuff. You got a barrel? You got. It looks like the front bumper for the truck. The horn for the truck. Okay. This is another one of those delicate part leaf spring ones. So there's two of those. This looks like the top to the barrels. And this looks like the pump that goes in one of the barrels, but there is writing on those. I don't even know you can see that, but telling you what's in the barrels. Yeah. You can see it. And then no ejector pins on the other side. But yeah. Weather detail on that could be fun. And... This looks like a ladder or support frames for something. And another jerry can, water can one, so there's two of those. And not sure what it is, but boy, those are small too. Check out how small they are. Be very, very careful. Looks like the front of the truck or the back of the truck. And this is the second one of those we just looked at with the very tiny delicate parts. And there's that other fender I was talking about. And our person included in the kit, which is good detail on the face and the uniform. Put them together. Maybe with a little work you can pose them in a position. But good looking figure. And clear parts, which we don't need to open because they're flat, so they'll be perfect. And the few little decals that you get with the kit. And where did I put that? Right here. A little mini art envelope which has only photo etch, no hoses. So you got photo etch for your jerry cans, a frame of something, some photo etch wrenches, open end wrenches. It's covered in plastic on both sides to protect it. So I believe that is all the parts we have. Instructions. Let me put this photo itch back safely away. 
Okay. Highly detailed model, photo its parts, clear parts, decal sheet, fully detailed engine, compartment, and chassis, repair equipment and tools, one figure included. Alright, let me get all these parts off here. Put them back in here. Okay. Color callouts. For Vallejo, Mr. Color. AK Real Colors, Mission Models, Ammo Mig, Tamiya, and the color name. Boy, they're covering everybody. I like that. They're not beholden to any one company. Sprue Map. Lots. Lots. So you're going to start with the engine just like on any normal automotive vehicle. If it has an engine, you start with the engine. That's going to be fun to detail up because I like doing engines. And then you will work on the frame, doing the sides, and then putting the frame together. This is where you want to, it's going to be very important to make sure it's level and flat. Or else it's going to sit crooked, which is okay if you put it in a diorama where it can be crooked. And there's your stacking your wheels together, putting your drive line in, your framing structure in. Bunch of those tiny little parts are going in there. Spare tire for underneath. Putting more tires together. It says put the tires on now, but I wouldn't until I painted it. You put in your, I mean, put them on the test fit, I guess, so you make sure it sits level. Once you're convinced it sits level, then I take the tires back off. And there's your fenders going on, your gear shift going on, how to do that, your little floor buttons, you know in the old days you had to push a button to get bright lights, I don't know if that's what it's for, but, and there's your floor for your work area, and your diamond pattern, how to paint that, your dash area, your gauge, little gauge cluster, um, I'm looking at the decals now. No, there are no decals for the gauges. Just like, oh, there are decals for the gauges right there. Just for the individual gauges. Okay. And then your firewall's getting some detail added to it. And you're putting all that on. Putting boxes together, putting sides together. This, it was the back door panel that I was looking at. I wasn't sure what it was. And then variant with open windshield or variant with closed windshield. So you can do either way, open front windshield or closed front windshield. Keep that in mind. And you're putting your supports on for your um, opening your hood or bonnet. Whatever you choose to call it. And there's your side panels with your windows going in and your workbench going together. Along with your, that uh, looks like a drill press. There you go. That's exactly what that is. It's a drill press. And then another cabinet going together. And then there's the cabinets right there being attached to the wall and then to the floor. And look, it's got a grinder. I didn't realize that, but there's a grinder. There's your workbench vise. And chair and desk. Open toolbox. It comes with a toolbox you can have opened. That's what that one is. It's probably what that all wooden part is. Some really good detail in this. You can close the toolbox too. And your air compressor, your handheld toolbox that you carry around, all your tools going onto your bench, oil cans, clamps, another air gun, bucket with tools in it if you want to do that, because you can set this up any way you want. Obviously, PE part for the handle for the bucket. So you can have the bucket with the handle up or the handle down, as you can see there. Another cabinet, like a stool. The other side going on once you have it all loaded up. The doors that you can have open or closed with their cranks. Um, position part H10 for variant with closed back door, so keep an eye on that if you're going to have the back door closed. There is the roof, which has lights in it, which makes sense. And there's with the doors open or closed. Looks like they have window shades on there. 
and then there's your variant for closed cover or open cover so you have to put it together differently if you want it opened or closed and headlights license plate frame roof rack that's what that P, big PE part is it's a roof rack that'll be fun but if you have the proper tool like a display big photo etch thing it'll be a piece of cake ladder mounting to the side with some PE brackets and there's your barrels there's some of your more boxes looks like a fuel tank there's a jack stand jack stand um, that might actually be a pump for the fuel or a pump for the barrel it's telling you how to put the wording in there so this one looks like if you leave the top off you'll see the bottom of the barrel and that's in there that looks like a great big saw hey, look at the PE again. Didn't even notice that. Yeah, right there. There's a saw with very fine teeth. Saw blade. Nice touch. So all of this is going to load onto the top rack. If you want it to. There's your welding kit. Your food sack, if that's what they are. Another saw. Uh, there's your, like I said, your rack for holding your welding equipment. Your tanks. Buckets are going on top. This bucket here is going on top anyway. Big saw going on top. All your cans going on top. Another spare tire on top. And your color call outs. Posters right here. You cut these out. Or you copy them on a color printer to something else and cut them out. If you want to put those somewhere inside. German gray. Here's your officer right there smoking a cigarette. Or enlisted man, I can't tell. Looks like an officer though. And there's your color callouts. Bam! How does that look? That is some detail. I'm gonna have fun with this, but as I always say, I'm sure some of you are gonna get to this before me, and I wanna see. Unknown Wehrmacht repair unit. I wanna see your guys' build of this. <clears throat> because most of you are better modelers than I am. So, somebody, sit your ass at the bench, build this kit, build a beautiful diorama to go with it, make it great, thanks for watching.